guess what? Scientists believe the Earth's core is changing speed and its shape. New research in the scientific journal Nature Geoscience shows the Earth's most inner layer has been changing over the past 20 years, but what does this mean? To answer that really important question, we are joined by CTV Science and Technology Specialist Dan Riskin. Nice to see you. I should start all these segments with guess what? <laughs> right when it comes to science. <laughs> so why is the Earth's core changing speed and shape? What do we know? Oh, oh yeah, that's the question. I mean, I, we don't know, uh, which is kind of <laughs> fun. I mean, and, and those are the most exciting scientific questions is where we're just like, we're barely scratching the surface. And with this one, it's nowhere near the surface. You know, it's, <laughs> it's the, the, the Earth has, you know, of course, there's molten magma under us. And that's this liquid layer. But if you go right to the middle, there's almost like this ball bearing in the middle. And it rotates just like the Earth rotates. Um, but what we found is that it, for a while it was rotating a little faster than we were, and then it slowed down, so it was rotating more slowly than we were, and then it sped up again, so it was rotating faster than us again. And it, it's just like this real mystery about what the heck, what makes it turn faster or slower, and and also it looks like it's changing shape, so the edges are are expanding and contracting, and so there are a lot of mysteries we're trying to crack on this thing. Okay, but um, I'm putting my hand up in class. Okay, so we're at school now. So I need you to. Explain Explain to me how we know this, if it's like at the center, like how do we even know this? Right, right, because you can't just cut the earth in half and have right. a look like all those nice pictures in the geology textbook. So um, it's actually, it's very clever. When there's an earthquake on the bottom of the planet, we measure the earthquake at the top of the planet. So there's a place called the South Sandwich Islands, the most delicious of all the islands. <laughs> and when they have an earthquake, um, the, the waves go through the earth and the speed with which those waves travel depends on the density of what it's traveling through. Just like sound goes faster through the water than it goes through the air, it goes faster through a solid core than it does through a liquid uh, magma layer above mm -hmm. that. So um, by measuring the earthquakes at a bunch of different locations and figuring out what the lines were that the earthquake went through, you sort of have this way to measure the density at these different places and you can look at how changes happen. So there are these earthquake sensors in Alaska and the Yukon that have been measuring earthquakes from the South Sandwich Islands over decades and decades. And the South Sandwich Islands are near Antarctica. And so every time there's an earthquake down there, it sends a signal. And by measuring the difference between what you hear in Alaska versus the Yukon, with some of those waves going through the core and some of those waves just barely missing the core, you can start to measure what that core looks like. And so that's how they do it. It's very complicated math, but it's mm -hmm. very impressive stuff. That's very cool. Thanks for breaking that down. So let's now talk about, should we be concerned? Like, is this something that's just is kind of cool or is this way one of those like wait a second we've got to take notice on the one hand it doesn't matter because uh there's no reason to think that this is you know that, that there's anything wrong or anything weird on the other hand the stakes could not be higher hmm. the fact that we have this this molten layer beneath us and the fact that there's movement that creates the magnetic field that protects us from solar radiation so when the sun hits us with rays of plasma they turn into pretty northern lights and don't kill us all. <laughs> Mars doesn't have that. And so what, what happened is that basically it used to have an atmosphere and the solar wind just ripped the atmosphere off and blew it into space. And so that would happen to us if our core wasn't doing its job properly. So we have no indication that it's doing anything wrong or there's anything weird, but we really do want to understand it because it keeps us alive. Okay, it's like a it's like a heartbeat. That's what you're saying. Sometimes yeah. it goes faster and slower. I'm like, maybe it's just exercising, Dan. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's exercise. Like, yeah, you got to work out life. your core, right? Yeah, yeah. you got to work on your core. Well said. We'll end it there. CTV science and technology <laughs> specialist Dan Riskin. Always good to see you. Take care. Thanks. If you like that video, make sure to subscribe to the Your Morning YouTube feed, where you can find all kinds of new content posted every weekday morning.